Hey there, St. Paul's. It's Jeff uh, coming to you from my office for this Wednesday Word. Uh, I pray that you are all well. And uh, on this middle of uh, the work week, that you are finding glimpses of uh, God in your every day. And uh, I have a prayer to share with you at the end of this little check-in uh, that uh, I think speaks to that notion of discovering God in the midst of our busy weeks and uh, even on this hump day, this middle day of the work week. Uh, I just want to give a shout out to you all and uh, know that I'm thinking about you and praying for you and thanking you all for the many ways that you are continuing to keep the mission and ministry of St. Paul's going, even in this continuing uncharted time. Uh, we had a great Sunday on Sunday and uh, had an exciting meeting about future possibilities for uh, what is now referred to as the middle room, uh, maybe some new opportunities for mission and outreach and hospitality and learning and witness and all sorts of things. So thank you to all of you who came to that meeting after church on Sunday. Looking ahead to this weekend, there's a lot uh, going on. I hope that you can join us for as much as you are able. A uh, reminder that on Saturday, we'll be having a trip apple picking. Uh, so if you'd like to join us, we'll be meeting at uh, Carver Hill Orchard in Stowe, Massachusetts. You can find that online um, or in your weekly email that will be coming out uh, tomorrow. There's a link to sign up to let us know if you're coming, particularly if you need a ride or if you have uh, a ride to share with somebody else who might be leaving from church, let us know. But it will be nice to get out there, pick some apples and eat some apple cider donuts, which is always a highlight um, of my fall. So that's on Saturday, uh, Carver Hill Orchard at 2 p.m. On Sunday, we will be celebrating our annual Blessing of the Animals after church at 11.15 on the front lawn on St. Paul Street. Uh, so please bring your animals, your stuffed animals, your pets, uh, anything uh, that you'd like to have blessed is a part of our annual observation of the Feast of St. Francis, uh, which we will be observing after church uh, this Sunday. Blessing of the Animals, all are invited. Great thing to bring friends to. Uh, who may have a pet uh, that they'd like to have blessed. So that's Sunday um, after church. And this Sunday at 9 a.m., we'll have Sunday school. Uh, our young people are gathering um, and coming back together for Sunday school, thanks to our uh, incredible Sunday school teacher. So if you have a young person who uh, might like being a part of the Sunday school program, please bring them by on Sunday morning at 9 a.m. Adult education also continues at 9 a.m. and we will be starting a new series this Sunday uh, called Groundbreaking Saints as we march toward uh, All Saints Day, which is uh, November 1st. Uh, we'll be taking all the Sundays in uh, October to think about different saints of the Episcopal Church uh, that have played some role of being a first uh, in the life of the church. Uh, so Groundbreaking Saints every Sunday 9 a.m. Uh, I'll be live in person in the Great Hall if you'd like to join me there, or you can join us on Zoom uh, by following one of the links from the website for Sunday morning adult uh, formation, adult education. So Saturday, apple picking, Sunday morning at 9, Sunday school and adult formation um, in addition to our 8 o'clock and 10 o'clock services and then blessing of the animals um, after the 10 o'clock service at 11.15. So hope you can join us um, and we continue to gather in ways that are both uh, joy-filled uh, and also safe, uh, social distanced and wearing masks. Um, so we are continuing to find new and creative ways uh, to be together. And if you can't be with us in person, we do hope that you will continue to join us online, either at our Facebook Live page or our YouTube Live page. So that's my Wednesday check-in, letting you know what's coming up this weekend. Hope I get to see you either online or in person. And I will leave you with another prayer um, from this book that I've shared before, Walter Brueggemann's Prayers for a Privileged People. And I thought that this was a good uh, prayer for those of you who might be in the middle of your work day uh, on this middle day of the work week. It's called Practitioners of Memos. Here we are, practitioners of memos. 
we send email and we receive it. We copy it and forward it and save it and delete it. We write to move the data and organize the program and keep the people informed and know and control and manage. We write and receive one-dimensional memos that are at best clear and unambiguous. And then in breathtaking ways, you summon us to song. You by your presence call us to lyrical voice. You by your book give us cadences of praise that we sing and say, Allelu, Allelu. You by your hymnal give us many voices towards thanks and gratitude and amazement. You, by your betraying absence, call us to lament and protest and complaint. All our songs are toward you in praise, in thanks, and in need. We sing figure and image and parallel and metaphor. We sing thickness according to our coded community. We sing and draw close to each other and to you. We sing, things become flesh, but then the moment breaks and we sink back into memo. How many pages? When is it due? Do you need footnotes? We are hopelessly memo kinds of people. So we pray by the power of your spirit, give us some song infused days, deliver us from memo dominated nights. Give us a different rhythm of dismay and promise of candor and hope of trusting and obeying. Give us the courage to withstand the world of memo and draw near to your craft of life given in the wind. We pray back to you in the word made flesh. We pray, come soon. We say, Amen. From my desk here in my office, as I look across the street at the apartment building, I can see the shadow of our steeple move across the building throughout the course of my day. And I'm so grateful for that image as it reminds me of the church moving uh, out there in the world. So I pray that this day you may find some song in your day in this world of memo, that you might catch a glimpse of God moving in your life. Know of God's gratitude for all of who you are and all of what you do. I ask you to be good to yourself this day. Be good to one another. Remember that God loves you abundantly, and so do we. Take care, everyone. God bless.